Hi everyone, welcome to the Pro 7 V2 introductory video. This little system is intended to shoot a majority of whatever you might be imagining you want to create with VR 360 video. It's a seven camera system with specifically five cameras along the horizon and then just filling the top and bottom with one single camera. By having these five cameras exactly aligned the same way along the horizon, you've got very predictable seams and also very predictable positioning of the cameras in relation to your subject. Included in your box for the Pro 7 V2, you'll find a felt bag to keep your system clean and protected. The actual Pro 7 V2 system itself, fully assembled. Your camera mount accessory that includes a 3 8 male by 3 8 female stem and a 3 8 by quarter 20 adapter for mounting to various tripods. Your handy clicker, audio sync tool, a screwdriver for removing the cameras from the individual camera holders, and a pen that also serves as a handy stylus. One of the most noticeable changes to our systems is the modular design that now includes an anodized aluminum core for each system that has multiple mounting points, as well as these individual plastic camera holders that each have a hinged lid that encloses and securely holds the cameras in place. Some of you may remember from our previous systems, we had 3D printed material, nylon, that had a flexible flap that actually held those cameras in position. It served its purpose, but by going to a modular design, each of these is easier to maintain, and these are reconfigurable based on what base you're gonna be placing the plastic holders onto. How do those fasten onto the holders? It's pretty simple. There's a single screw that holds it in place, and they fit snugly onto the base. So changing out one of the plastic holders in the future is as simple as removing it from the post on the anodized aluminum core, taking your new plastic camera holder and tightening it down. I'm gonna load this up as if we were on set. And there we have it. This is the position you want to have the rig mounted in in order to get the optimal horizontal coverage that's even. All these seams are very predictable. If this camera that you're looking through is going to be directly in one of the cameras that I'm recording with on this system, I point it right at you. And anything that's over on this side or that side of you as a subject is now in a seam and I can predictably tell what's going to be in it while I'm shooting as well as how I'm gonna deal with it in post when it comes to masking or patching or synchronization. So now when we look at the actual system, we know that when we look at mounting point A, that's gonna position the camera at a 45 degree angle. And regardless of what you're mounting off of, whether you're strapping your monopod to the side of a railing or a table or anything that's in the environment naturally, or if you're mounting it on a monopod, and tripod combination that I'm going to be showing you in future videos, this is the ideal position. Positioning it this way, you're able to put your rigging directly in a seam here and here. And that's going to allow you to completely wipe out all of this information of the monopod being in the shot, and you're going to feel like you're floating in free space when you watch the footage. There certainly are cases where because of wind or for safety reasons or just general convenience, you don't have access to a 45 degree mount and you need to position the rig completely vertically on the tripod. Uh, it's probably a more common position that most of us are used to. You can still record and stitch this footage and you can still watch it. The only thing you're going to need to be aware of is that the footage you shoot like this is going to have a lot of this base in it. So again, this system is really great for shooting things like events and real estate tours 
Uh, it's great for any kind of general shooting where you're not entirely sure exactly what the environment's gonna be like that you're shooting in. Um, it makes for uh, a system, once you learn how to position these cameras in the right spot, both toward yourself and toward your subject, you're going to find that this is probably one of the most predictable, easiest to use camera systems out there. And that one minor change of adding one camera on top makes all the difference in terms of having a really predictable horizon, which is natural to the way that we look around the world anyway. Seven cameras on the horizon also provides more overlap than what a six camera system would. With a total of seven cameras, you have enough coverage for 7500 by about 3750 pixels which means that it's compatible with all of the modern HMDs like the Google Cardboard and Gear VR and the Oculus and the Vive. You will be able to play it back on platforms like YouTube and Facebook and our video.360heroes.com platform. Um, anywhere that you can watch video online or on your local desktop, this is compatible with it. This system also provides a sort of resolution to weight ratio that's ideal for drones and UAVs and for mounting on different unique systems where you might want to travel through a space and find creative ways to do that. So that's a quick rundown of the most important features of the Pro 7 V2. If you have any questions about how to set this system up or how to shoot with it, just reach out to us at 360 Heroes. We hope you enjoy some of the new updates we've made to our systems and we really look forward to seeing what you create with it.